Saturday, August 21st, 1965. His Worship, the Mayor of Elizabeth, introduces Mr. J.P. Cartledge, Chairman of the South Australian Housing Trust, who formally hands the theatres over to the people of Elizabeth. And His Excellency, Lieutenant General Sir Edric Bastian, Governor of South Australia, quotes the theatres as good examples of what can and should be done, not only for today, but for generations yet unborn. And in unlocking the doors, he urges Elizabeth to take full advantage of the theatres, not merely to pay lip service and stay away. Certainly, all Elizabeth seems to be at the official opening ball. The Octagon does, in fact, have its first full house. The Mayor and Mayoress of Elizabeth, Mr. and Mrs. Gilchrist, are the guests of honour for the evening. For the City Council, who, for the past year, have been very active in organising and financing the theatres, have now vested control in a board of management. Dress is formal, but otherwise, informality and good fun is the order of the evening. There is little speech-making, but a lot of talk, and the dancing goes on into the wee small hours. From dancing in the octagon to dance in the Shedley, the other opening night, and the honour goes to a local ballet group. How will it go? What will the critics think? And the folk of Elizabeth, just as interested in their new theatre as they are in the ballet, what will they think? Curtain up! Now it's too late to do anything more than has already been rehearsed. Your best has to be good enough. But what are they thinking out there? Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Milkman, mother, son, and student, stenographer, father, and newspaper delivery man. Different backgrounds, and what in common? Australia, a city called Elizabeth, and tonight, the ballet. Final curtain? Oh, no. While the audience leaves tonight, the stage is set for tomorrow. And omens are good for a long, successful season. And the company? The new Elizabethans have parts of plenty for new players. The scene is changing. Stand by for the second act. Beginners, please. <laughs> 